Hello, welcome back. Uh, my name is Chris. Uh, the channel's name is Helo's World. I'm located in uh, Christiansburg, Virginia, which is near Virginia Tech. Um, I want to first of all say this. Thanks. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, just thanks for everything. Uh, the outpouring is just amazing. Uh, you don't know how much I appreciate it. Uh, sometimes when you're a small channel content provider, um, you don't realize how hard it is sometimes when you make a video and 30 people watch it. You know, you try and you put effort into it and it just don't feel like you're uh, getting the type of thing you, you really desire. And um, But I want to I wanna say something, a few other things, and then we're going to go on with the topic and everything else. Um if I didn't get back to you in the comments, I'm sorry. Uh, there was so much at the end of the day. Uh, I'm, I definitely probably could have missed somebody, and that wasn't intentional. Uh, I want to say that everybody uh, in the comments acted like an adult, except one. I'll let you guess who the one was. Uh, there was some nasty, you know, things that that person said. Um, kind of proved what they are. Uh, a lot of comments said that uh, they had been banned, too, uh, from the, the Facebook page. And I guess maybe they were Facebook friends with him as well. Um, so, you know, all the claims that somehow I was the issue. Um, there was another video made by another um, YouTuber. Um, he had similar comments below in his video that uh, they had been kicked off of the page as well. We've got more to go than just that. We have some sales. Things were slower this weekend. It's okay. I needed a rest weekend. I enjoyed some college football. Let's talk. All right. Sold these two high eight uh, TDK tapes. Uh, $8.99 plus shipping on that. Nothing big. Uh, I was at a yard sale the other week. I don't know how the Earth Harbor Biome Brightening Fluid or something. I don't know what they use it for. All I did is I scanned the barcode on the bottom. Uh, the people were, it's late. And the people could care less that I was even there. And uh, they had 75 cents on it. So I got $9.99 plus shipping. Uh, I don't usually do stuff like that. But if it's late in the day, nobody's paying any attention. Yeah. I mean, I'll do stuff like that, but I usually don't look up stuff or scan barcodes or stuff when it's busy and going through the day. Um, so this, now this is kind of interesting. This is a TM30 thermal paste. Uh, I got 19 of these in a box. Now this is something that has a really good sell-through rate, okay? This has, uh, I've already sold two in the last two weeks. So I've got 19 of them. Uh, I can only get like four fifty plus shipping. I have about a buck a piece in these, so I bought them off of a lady uh, on Facebook Marketplace. But this has a real good sell through rate. This is the type of thing if you're going to sell small things, you want a good sell through rate, just like the other little uh, the bone here. You know, ten bucks plus shipping. I had it less than a week. That's the type of sell through things you're looking for. If you're going to have some low items, you got to have some stuff that has a good sell through rate. There's nothing wrong. This is easy. How hard is this? How hard is that? You got to have easy. But let's, let's talk about my topic today. And there's multiple strikes going on in this country right now. Now, workers are tired of feeling like they're underpaid. And let me say this first of all I'm a UAW member, okay? Now, I, I work for the UAW Local 2069 uh, Bobo Trucks. I am I work at Bobo. I build tractor and trailers for a living. Actually, what I do at this point, I inspect the paint at Bobo. Now, we're not in any way being affected by the strike. Uh, our contract don't run up to July 2027. Uh, we've been on strike. We went on try to strike in 2021. And actually, it was during yard sale season, so I mean, I actually, between the strike fund and what we get, uh, the UAW gives you, you know, to do your picketing, and what I sold on eBay, I actually made more than going in the plant. Uh, so that's why I actually tell people, I lose money by going to work. 
Why? Because I, I can, you know, soar, especially that time of year. Uh, th this past Saturday got rained out, but when it's it's summer and there's yard sales, and I make a lot more out yard selling than I do in the workplace. So um, we'll have a couple more sales, and we'll go into the, 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 the UAW stuff and the actor stuff here in just a minute. Sold another hat here. Uh, the Atlanta Falcons, until today they lost, but we're doing pretty good. They were 2-0. and now they've lost. They're two and one. But anyway, I got an offer on this. Fourteen dollars free shipping. Uh, I didn't have not. I think I bucked in this thing, so I went ahead and let it move because I, you know, I hadn't heard nothing. And all of a sudden, somebody sends me a message. Hey, would you take fourteen bucks? I took it. Um, that's a grown up college. It's a polo, but it kind of comes off like a jersey type thing too. This was a yard sale pickup from last year, so it took a while. Uh, but sometimes local colleges do pretty good for me, small colleges. The reason why I, I recommend them, I mean, this didn't do as well as some. But a lot of times with small colleges, there's less apparel out there for them. So, yeah, there may be less people looking, but there's less people, there's less less supply, less demand. So, you you know, you've got a good chance. The run-up college took a little longer than I'd like. But a lot of times they take a couple months and they'll sell through pretty good. And usually you get it pretty cheap. Um, sold the, the six cents here. This I paid a quarter for at a yard sale a while back. This is not one of the greatest sealed copies. As you can see, there's the little logo. This is not a reseal in any way, shape, or form. We got about 10 bucks free shipping out of that. So the UAW right now has about 13,000 members on strike. Um, the, all the, uh, writers and the, um, the actors are out on strike as far as that's concerned. Um, the reason, I tell you what, I, I didn't know exactly how to feel about the whole writer's strike and all this stuff. And I was watching uh, Ahsoka that's on Disney Plus, episode five. And I was really surprised how good they really did with Hayden Christensen, how well they make him look. And it got me to thinking, you know, when we do it on eBay now, if you've tried out the option, for AI to write your description, I've done it just a few times, just to play with it. You know, they write a pretty good description. Yeah, it's a little wordy, you know that, but it's it's not bad. And uh, as you need as the technology is, it's kind of scary. And if I was a writer or something, I might have a real um, thing with AI. Uh, I remember one time there's an interview with Sabu. I'm sure it's on the internet somewhere you can find it, but. Sabu is a professional wrestler, and they asked him about, well, how was the royalties from these video games and stuff, and he was like, oh, they were great. They were great. The first couple games come out, and I got nice big checks, and then they did the create a wrestler mode. Then the fan at home could create Sabu, and Sabu got a big goose egg, and so you understand now what they're fighting for. Um, but I'm going to go over a couple more sales and I'll talk to you about what the UAW is fighting for. All right. Told this Harry Potter. I uh, got about $23 plus shipping. I overpaid for this. I'll just tell you straight up. I paid like 12 bucks for it. Thought it'd be more like 40 Uh When I bought that big CD collection that you've seen the video of and me having sales weekly, it's the first time I don't have a CD that sold during this time. Sold one earlier in the week, but not, not on this video. Um, I went in and paid this too. Um, you know, we were, I had that big pile of CDs. I was like, oh, what about the Harry Potter? And they had 15. They said, well, we'll do 12. I was like, well, it's probably 40 plus shipping. Yeah, go ahead and pile it on. I got it home, $23. And it's Blu-ray sealed, brand new. So unless you're getting this dirt cheap, I would not recommend you pick this up. As far as I know, I think it's on Peacock streaming. So when a lot of stuff, when stuff streams, you don't get a lot as far as that's concerned. So the, the UAW being on strike, and you may think the demands are really high and really outrageous, okay? I understand uh, the media has a way of pitching it, and so you'll, you'll hear, oh, they're asking for a 40% raise or something like that. And of course, a couple factors is, one, you always ask for more than you really expect. Um, it's kind of like going in and dealing for a car. Uh, you know, you, you want to kind of pay six grand, they want you to pay seven grand. So you've got to, you know, you got to try to get closer to yours than, than you do theirs, you know. But but secondly, 
And here's what people don't realize. I, I work, like I said, at Bobbo. We didn't get a raise for four years at one point. Um, there's workers at GM and some of the other plants that haven't got a raise for as much as 10 years at one point. And they see the record profits that GM and, and, and you know, uh, Ford and all of them are bringing in the record profits. They see the CEOs making in excess of $21 million. And they, they, they're thinking to themselves, you know, we need a little bit of piece of that pie. And, um, you know, but now what does that do to your sales? Now, you're saying, like, Chris, you went through all this mess just to tell us that the, the sales... Um, Sales is, if things keep on continuing with these different strikes, you're going to start seeing a bottom line change. And I'm going to go talk cop about more things, and then I'll finish out my idea on the UAW. Uh, I sold the Psych Out Trip DVD. Um, it's two DVDs in one. You've heard me say this story about three or four times. I went to an estate sale, and I got all that, uh, those, uh, those horror books and all that stuff. This was part of that that was in that box. The guy told me $15 for the box, and I paid another $15 for a D, uh, DVD-VCR combo that has the the remote, the books, the works. Um, I'll basically list that. I've got one listed in the store now. I kind of don't like a bunch of them listed in the store at one time, just in case they all sold. You know, I only have so much time to pack and stuff. So I kind of sell one and then list another, that type of deal. Anyway, I think we got about $9.99 uh, plus shipping on this. So how does it affect your bottom line? Well, first of all, I've sold quite a few things clothing-wise and props-wise to Hollywood or people in Hollywood. Um, so that's going to affect that. And, and like, okay, when I was on strike in 2021, I mainly ate at the house at that point. Okay, that affected the people that are out at the workplace as far as the eating places. Uh, I tell you what, on the way to work, I always stop at a certain convenience store and buy some food and stuff for the supper at night. That They didn't get my money for, we gosh, we were out a total of eight weeks, I think, altogether. And so that, you know, that all affects the local economy. That affects, you know, it's it's the ripple effect. And, you know, if, it, if the UAW stays out a, a, lot long, a long time, and they keep on adding, you know, that this group could include as many as 150,000 people. Uh, like I said, I'm part of it, but that, I, my, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to strike. Um, but this, these strikes could include as many as 150,000 people. If they get to the full 150,000 for any long period of time, um, you know, it's hard to tell. Now, like I said, they can get a strike fund. They get them out from the strike fund. They have to do their, you know, picket time. And they are allowed to work a job. Uh, quite a few people where I worked from, when they were on strike, they took and got a job. So you can get a job. And, of course, we know that, you know, or especially around me, places are hiring galore. They may not be the greatest jobs, but they'll get you through, especially. And a lot of them knew that we were on strike, but they needed workers. Most people would show up. They'd hire them. They knew, you know, once Bobo got back, they'd lose them, you know. In the meantime, you've got a worker. So, and I'll finalize that here, but I'm going to go over a couple more sales, clothing sales. This is L.L. Bean, 15 and a half, large, red, striped shirt. I like L.L. Bean, as long as you get it cheap. $15.99, free shipping on that. Uh, I've had it a while, because you can tell the free shipping. Uh, remember how I've told you before, this time of year is hoodie year. Uh, right before this video, I saw one earlier in the week. It didn't get to hit the video, a hoodie. This is a hoodie. Uh, Nike hoodie. I think we got about eighteen dollars plus shipping on that. This is a short sleeve hoodie. I like this thing. I would, I would definitely like something like this. Uh, a short sleeve hoodie if it had like a zip, man. That would really, uh, I would definitely keep it. But it's a two X, good size. Like I said it's hoodie time. We'll be selling more hoodies as the zero rolls along. And one more last sale. We got a flannel, um, heavy duty Wrangler. Uh, I bought a lot of Western stuff for a dollar. If you remember last week, we had that $55 Western shirt. Uh, we got $17.99 plus shipping out of this. Like I said, this is heavy doodle, doodle heavy duty, and flannel. It's Wrangler. Uh, this is, I think, USA made. I mean, this is vintage. Really nice piece there. Uh, it had a lot of washers and stuff, so I knew 
uh, it would eventually get cropped up pretty quick. Being this time of year, that was a good sale. I think I said as a whole, this weekend was more slower sales. Um, but to finalize, um, you know, the UAW's um, fight here, you know, to get better wages and stuff, um, it's just to keep up with the times, really. I mean, you take, like, where I'm at right now. Like I said, we have a contract to July 2027. We're not going to, anybody that comes through the gates, they won't even get $21 an hour all the way up to July 2027, starting out new. And we have a lot of skilled positions, like welders, uh, painters, that type of stuff. So the company don't realize they put themselves in a really hard bind to get employees. And, you know, so that, I mean, honestly, by paying a decent wage, it actually allows you to bring in more skilled employees. Um, like I said, I'm just speaking from this firsthand. Instead of, you know, you know, there's people that make content that where they just read a news article to you. I mean, it, it, I find that type of stuff insulting as far as a, a, as a news article. But what I'm saying is long term, if these strikes continue long term, I do think it'll affect sales. I do think we'll see dips in the economy. Stocks go down. Uh, the investors don't invest. Um, so I, I definitely could see that, uh, your parts, your distribution, uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, let's just hope that this thing gets settled for everybody's benefit. Um, if you like this type of content, please give me a like, comment below. What do you think of the, the situation? Also, Hey, you know, if you're still, uh, want to talk about last week's video, I'm more than welcome to talk about it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Gosh, I appreciate all you new subscribers. It meant a lot to me. Thanks and have a great week.